Uh, given that, Dr. Latif, uh, I want to talk a little about this bipolar disorder and especially how it progresses, how it develops some of the risk factors, especially when we're dealing with children. Right. So bipolar disorder, um, it's actually one of the most misunderstood psychiatric illnesses. And so I'm so glad you're having this um, program to talk more about it. Um, why it develops, it, there are multi, multiple factors. Genetics play a big role. So we've seen that if one parent has bipolar disorder, the child may be 10 times more likely than others to actually experience that. Um, and then how it presents is it's um, the, that's where the common misunderstandings come from. People often think if someone's being moody or going from one mood to another in a few hours, they have bipolar disorder. But that's actually not true. It's a very debilitating illness um, with episodes of severe depression, episodes of severe mania. Right. You're talking about how debilitating it is, how it's misunderstood. Many people conflate it uh, with normal mood swings. But can we uh, delve a little deeper into it and the types of uh, bipolar uh, disorder categories there are? Is there a scale on which it becomes more severe? Uh, and are there cases in which it might be mild and might even go undetected? Right. That's a really, really great question. So certainly, um, there, there are two types of bipolar disorder, and, and they really differ in their severity. The most severe form is called bipolar disorder type 1. Um, and then the less severe form is called bipolar disorder type 2. Mind you, what really determines severity is what impact it's have, having on your functioning. So a lot of patients with both bipolar disorder type 1 and type 2 have uh, difficulty with interpersonal relationships. They can't hold a job. For children, it can be very difficult. Um, in, in school, it leads to academic decline.